The BT-3F stands as a fresh addition to the Russian lineup of tracked armored personnel carriers, commencing development in 2010. Its foundation rests upon the BMP-3F infantry fighting vehicle, incorporating advanced amphibious capabilities. Despite lacking the BMP-3F's turret, the BT-3F boasts an elevated superstructure akin to the 1V172-2 artillery control vehicle. Its primary audience is the Russian naval infantry units, potentially serving as a partial replacement for the BTR-80 series 8x8 armored personnel carriers presently employed by the naval infantry. The debut of the BT-3F prototype was witnessed in 2016, raising questions about its potential adoption by the Russian Navy. Furthermore, the vehicle is being considered for export, with Indonesia placing an order for 21 units in 2019, scheduled for delivery by 2021 to 2022. Additional procurement approval was granted by the Indonesian Ministry of Defense in 2020, aiming to secure a total fleet of 100 BT-3F vehicles. With its capability for launch from amphibious assault ships, the BT-3F assumes the crucial role of ferrying marines from vessel to shore under the shield of armor. Its purpose extends to leading beachfront operations and safeguarding coastal territories for ongoing troop movements. Upon reaching land, the BT-3F is adaptable for patrol duties, checkpoint security, and transporting personnel and supplies further inland. In conceptual terms, it resembles the aging Soviet BTR-50P or the USAAV-7 amphibious armored personnel carriers, albeit in a more compact form with reduced passenger capacity. Advantages over the existing BTR-80 series carriers lie in the BT-3F superior protection, double troop carrying capacity, and enhanced off-road mobility due to its track design. The hull incorporates welded aluminum alloy armor providing all-round defense against 14. 5mm armor-piercing rounds, while potential composite armor covers the frontal aspect, withstanding impacts from 30mm armor-piercing rounds. The vehicle can be upgraded with explosive reactive armor to bolster protection. Essential systems include NBC protection and automatic fire suppression, although vulnerability to mine blasts and improvised explosive devices persists due to the tracked configuration. Smoke grenade dischargers and smoke screen generation via fuel injection are among the defensive features. The crew, comprising commander, driver, and gunner, amounts to three individuals, along with accommodation for 14 dismounts. Ingress and egress are constrained by the rear engine layout, offering limited internal space and modest comfort. A remote-controlled weapon station on the demonstrator includes a 7.62mm machine gun, with the potential for heavier armaments like 12.7 or 14.5mm heavy machine guns, and 30 or 40mm automatic grenade launchers. Additional firepower emerges from two forward-firing 7.62mm machine guns mounted at the front, operated by dismounts on either side of the driver. The driver's position is central within the hull. Powering the BT-3F is the UTD-29 diesel engine from the BMP-3, generating 500 horsepower and situated at the rear. Hydropneumatic suspension adapts to varied terrains, while the vehicle features built-in self-entrenching blades for defensive preparations. Fully amphibious, the BT-3F employs two water jets for aquatic propulsion. Remarkably, its compatibility with existing military transport aircraft for BMP-3 transport extends to the BT-3F due to similar dimensions and weight. This multifaceted armored vehicle can serve as a versatile platform for various specialized systems.